So I'm going to talk to you about boondocking. Um, <clears throat> some tips. I'm currently staying in a motel and relaxing. You got to do that <clears throat> every once in a while. Um, as the lawnmower turns on. <laughs> so, first of all, you can't have a dirty rig. You got to keep your van or whatever you're in scrupulously clean. And uh, my van got cleaned yesterday. It looks so shiny and bright. So you have to look like you belong wherever you go. So I'm going to talk about uh, neighborhoods, hotels, and... Where else have I gone? Uh, you start to have little places where you can't go every night. Um, so I've been out in nature for six weeks and <clears throat> coming back to the city is so exciting. Oh my gosh, you can get whatever food you want, get a haircut, I got one yesterday. And just have a accessibility to a lot of things you can't when you're out in nature. So this is more for people in civilization rather than at Bureau of Land Management lands. Um, there's an app, ioverlander.com. You can find free places to stay out there. Um, a lot of Walmarts aren't allowing you to stay overnight in the lots anymore. Unless you, call in su you come in super late, like after 10. Um... Like one, one night in Bend, Oregon, I stayed in a Walmart parking lot, but they actually had a car driving around <laughs> with a flashing light on top looking for people just like me, which I thought was kind of funny. And uh, they stopped doing that after 10 o'clock. And so it worked. I got there at like 1030 and I saw the car, but then it stopped. And then another night I tried it. I came in too early. And um, I said, oh, I'm just going to rest here until 10. But guess what? That guy told me about a truck stop further south, and I went and stayed there. So truck stops are, I'll also cover. Um, so, okay, starting in neighborhoods. You don't want to pick some five-star neighborhood, although I have, and it's worked fine. Um, you don't want to be that noticeable. You don't want to have out-of-state license plates. I've only been doing it in Oregon lately, and I've had, not had any trouble. But I haven't done it that much. Um, so, you know, you kind of always got to be ready in a neighborhood to just leap in your driver's seat and get the hell out of there. Um, and that, uh, and that has happened. <laughs> but I didn't feel scared. But anyway, okay, so I don't really think neighborhoods are the best because um, everybody knows each other and a lot of times they know the cars and stuff. And especially if it's in a small town, I would avoid small towns. Like the last time I stayed in one shady cove, I had that uh, police car come because there was an argument going on <laughs> right outside of my van at 3 in the morning. I got the hell out of there and drove all the way to Crater Lake. Um, so nothing bad happened, but it wasn't really fun seeing the flashing lights show up. Um, so I didn't go back there. Um, but another place I've had no trouble whatsoever are truck stops because truckers go there and they sleep in their trucks and I've never been bothered. You get Wi-Fi sometimes. You can go to the bathroom. It's open 24 hours. Although I don't think I ever have gotten up in the middle of the night to go, but I just feel safe. Um, rest areas, it depends on the rest area. So if it's in a sketchy neighborhood and you don't have a good feeling, get out. You always have to trust your gut about something. It, you don't need any visual proof, any evidence, nothing. If you ever go somewhere and it doesn't feel good, like I was looking for a motel to stay yesterday for a couple of nights, and, and then I remembered this one where I stayed for a week last year. 
And I was looking in Medford, and every place I went looked so much better in the pictures. And when I got there, I'm like, ew. I don't like the noise from the freeway. I don't like this. I don't like that. And for the same price, I'm in a much nicer place in Ashland that I've already stayed. The owners know me. I like them. They like me. Um, it's worth having relationships forged uh, because it's like coming back and seeing your friends. So always trust your gut. Um, I was watching another video and uh, she suggested casinos. I've never tried that. Um, okay, so getting back to hotels, I've tried that a lot. Um, yeah, the fancier places are going to have somebody driving around checking your license plate and, you know. <laughs> okay, so I've actually had this happen in two states, Hawaii and California where I knew they were checking. It was the middle of the night. They stopped. This has happened a couple of times uh, and looked at my car and didn't do anything because they couldn't see me. I didn't have any windows open. Um, and then they drove away. So nobody asked me to leave. No, wait, there was one that they asked me to leave. <laughs> but it didn't bother me. No one got upset. I mean, I don't think you can be arrested. Um, because what I do... Okay, here's here's my strategy. I always like go in the hotel. I have a drink. Um, I use the Wi-Fi. I always buy something. And then I just go and, and get in my car. I don't move it or anything. So in my van. So... It's been working, but I don't do it that often. Um, you just like park in a really dark spot. And it and it seems to work better when it's not a five-star hotel in a way because there's kind of more security in those places. This particular place, I don't think... If they noticed me, they didn't say anything and there wasn't much traffic anyway. Like, you don't want to be... There wasn't anybody parked next to me. You want to be as nondescript as possible. Um, so boondocking, and I always feel, and I didn't wake up once. I woke up in the morning and it was time to go and get my coffee at 5.30 in the morning. I wake up early and I, I didn't wake up once all night long. It was nice. Um, so you just have to do what feels comfortable to you. Um, and trust your gut all the time. So, um, it's a very liberating way to travel because you always have everything with you and it's nice to stay in a motel this is quite a large room and I have everything I need my own bathroom a beautiful shower um, can walk to downtown so I'm out of the the smoke is clearing yay so those are my tips um, where do you like to boondock oh in this city and I'm also a member of Planet Fitness and the gym so you can always get showers there you can in Oregon it's different in different states some states have closed their showers this is not that easy to do in COVID so but I like traveling this way because it saves a lot of money and I can bank money that I would have wasted on high-priced apartments um, which I've done and am no longer doing so let me know what your ideas are. If you have any questions, I'd love to answer them. So I'll see you in the next video.